Today is leg day at Megabots. The track base is going through its last round of testing and we now have the control system all tuned up to command 430 horsepower of American muscle, which is now cranking three massive hydraulic pumps. The team's been welding together 7,000 pounds worth of leg and hip pieces over the past few weeks. These legs fold up for transport, stand up for combat, and they protect the hoses that go from the bottom to the body in order to make the arms and torso of the robot move. Our design allows us to transfer over 80 gallons per minute of hydraulic flow and over 400 amps of current through the leg. The robot can go from an 11 and a half foot tall squatting position to a 16 foot tall standing position in a matter of seconds. We're now stacking these giant robot legs onto the track base to make the humanoid Mark III combat robot. Each leg weighs 2,300 pounds and stands eight feet tall. Now what we have to do is test each and every actuator and sensor on the legs so that we can make sure when we go to assemble the robot, everything works. All right, one going up. The other one's going up. Our legs allow us to lean from side to side and forward and backwards to lean into punches and lean away from getting hit. Now that our legs are working, the team is attaching the hips. The hips hold the legs together and house the motors that twist the upper body up to 180 degrees. Torso twist is the joint that's going to put a lot of power behind our punches. This is a crucial moment because the legs now need to start working together. Ignition and the start of the engine in three, two, one. I'm sending a positive 100 to both of the extension spools. I've been doing this for a long time now, and I've brought up at least six or seven different robots. These are complicated machines, tons of parts. Every time you turn it on for the first time, something's gonna go wrong. The cables on the top look really tight. And there's a leak, there's a leak. Should I hit the rescue stop? Kill, kill, kill it. Okay. It's hard to tell where the grippy oil is. What's wrong, this guy? Oh, I see. That like was becoming pretty tight. All right, keep your eyes on the legs. If one leaked, maybe others will. Three, two, one, start the engine. Okay, so do we want to extend the legs now? I am unlocking the ankle roll. Three, two, one. Remember the upper body of the Mark III that we tested by picking up an entire car? Holy yes! <laughs> we're taking that finished upper body and we're putting it on the hips, legs, and track base to make one massive mech. Oh yeah, that is awesome.